Hey guys, thanks for watching. So this is going to be a love reading between Sagittarius and Aries. So this is general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, this can apply to any of the personal placements, is how I like to say it. So Sun, Moon, Rising, um, Mercury, Mars, Venus. I always forget the small ones. So anyway, what... Oh, okay, so I'm starting this off saying love reading, but my intentions going into this is... I don't know like this could be an X rating this could be a current relationship reading this could be like a new love reading like a crush like you guys just started talking wherever it wherever it is along the timeline we'll see we'll pick up the energies we'll see what it says uh, what spirit says what the cards say um, and we'll go from there so I think we'll go ahead and we'll start with the airy side and I'm gonna go ahead and get into that so all I've done so far is shuffle for Aries and there's like this tingling sensation like emotionally with them. So I can't tell if this is nervousness, if this is excitement, like it's not traveling enough for me to really know like so I figure I'll just go ahead and get more cards but I thought I'd report on that like there's some sort of either excitement or anxiety going on here. Okay so Aries you're gonna look you're gonna love me for this, but um, okay. I, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do it in order because I was thinking about the advice portion of it. So uh, for how you feel, you get the moon, and that's just telling me that it varies. See how there's many phases of the moon here. Your emotions vary on how you feel about Sagittarius. Like one day you may be like fuck them. One day you may be like I, you know. Um, I want to get back with them. Uh, this does seem like an X type of reading because with the actions being taken, there's the world. So it's like you're letting go of this situation, right? But with what is being hidden, like what are you hiding? That's kind of how I set this up. Um, we have the Page of Cups. So you want to reach out. You want to talk to them again. You want to express how you feel. But the thing is, your emotions vary from day to day, so what are you going to express, right? Um, and with the Hermit card being in the advice, I get it together. I'm sorry, but that's how it came out. Get it together and figure that out, like, before you act. Like, this is a real... Okay, I... I before you guys get upset with me, I'm also an Aries, and I'm sure you guys have heard this a lot, because God, I have to, and I know how annoying it is, what I'm about to say, but this is what these cards are saying to me. This is a real think before you act thing, because you don't know how you feel, so how can you speak on how you feel when you don't know how you feel, right? Um, it's like, it's so variable that you may speak one day when you're feeling good and then regret it when you're feeling bad. Like, let's figure it out first. Okay, so Sagittarius, for how you're feeling, I get temperance. That's a Sagittarius card, but um, I, I just kind of see you trying to gather yourself. Like, you're feeling less chaotic right now, and with the how you're feeling right now or what actions you're taking also being with the nine of cups especially with this combo i, I just kind of see you taking time and figuring out what makes you happy right now what direction do you want to go what fulfills you where where's the wind taking you basically what's being hidden or what are you hiding basically is what i'm seeing and um, the Three of Cups, that is, like, I don't know if you're partying to forget or if you're actually celebrating this situation be, being done, but it there's a lot of going out with friends or celebrating in one way or another. Now, the Three of Cups does have an element of friends to it, so this, I know Aries is watching this, so that doesn't have to be anything spicy now I'm not going to say it doesn't mean anything spicy but it, it could just be going out having a good time right and not telling you what they're doing and honestly I just heard there's a little bit of an element of relief from that because they don't 
They see you. They see you. Sagittarius sees Aries as a little bit of controlling, like restricting their freedom, basically. Um, whether you meant to do that or not, that is the vibe I'm getting off of this. That's what I'm hearing. Sagittarius, that's their view of Aries, right? So as far as the advice for Sagittarius, I got the King of Pentacles. And when I got that, I, I really get the sense that you're really just living for the vibe. You're living in the moment right now, Sagittarius. And the advice kind of pulls like, let's really uh, ground ourselves a little bit too, though, and think about our future a little bit. Like, the moment is great. Like, there just needs to be a little bit of a balance here because there may be, you may be being a little reckless, like, in the moment that affects, I, I'm hearing income specifically, like, you may be kind of like having a fuck that job type of vibe, um, specifically with that King of Pentacles, uh, you may be doing things that are affecting your income or you're affecting, um, the possibility for income, maybe a lot of sick days because of all this partying, maybe just blowing off work, and, um, take that how it resonates, but it's just one way or another, there's just something of like, okay, look, it's great you're enjoying this moment, but you may be blowing off responsibilities, um, there's definitely something you're blowing off, and you may want to reconsider, because what are you, you're there, there's something you're trying to accomplish, and it's like you're ignoring it. Okay, so here's the energy between you two, the outcome, and the advice. So for the energy in between you two, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and it just feels like you're you're focusing on your own abundance, right? Your own your own energy and your own life, but you're also kind of checking in on the other person, just being like, oh, what are they up to? Like, you you may not actually be checking in, but your ear perks up whenever. Uh, something is mentioned about them and you're just like oh spill the tea you, you know what I mean um, with the outcome we have the justice card and I'm just getting this whole what you put in is what you get out type of energy so like with you two ignoring each other and just focusing on yourselves it just kind of seems like that's where it's going right um, now you both had advice individually that was just kind of a make up your mind where do you want to put your energy type of thing Sagittarius I wasn't sure if you were blowing off uh, work but this could be you needing to put work into the relationship and Aries it could have been you needing to make up your mind on um, where you want to put your love or how you feel and this is where you want to put the energy because I'm bringing that up because we have the Empress and the advice here and I think you both have a lot of energy to go to to grow like I'm sorry like this card is there's growth potential in this card and nurturing and there's a lot of love in this card so that is in the advice here but it's also where do you want to put it because I, I had to think of your advices individually where are you putting that like if you both make up your mind that you want to be together like this energy would have to change because the outcome is what you put in you get out and you're both ignoring each other and you're both focusing on yourself like right now and if that's where you want to focus if you just want to focus on yourself that is fine like that's totally fine but like this is a two takes it takes two to tango too so you can't expect one person uh that just started coming out like, you can't expect the other person to put in all the work either. So, um, don't expect that. If one person steps up and the other person doesn't, like, we're still getting the same thing here, right? So, it's just like, where do you want to put your energy? What, what are you wanting to grow? Because the Empress is a Venus card, and Venus is... A lot of people like to associate Venus with love and romance but it's also associated with like material possessions so like with there being earthy elements in both of y'all and kind of focusing on yourself and your own abundance that actually may be where your focus may want to be like you both have elements of like make up your mind in both of your reads so i hate saying it like that but like you guys need to figure it out 
<laughs> like, what's going on? How do you feel? And maybe you need a little time of isolation to figure that out. Maybe you need to quit distracting yourself and figure it out. But that's just kind of what it is. Because why is why you're ignoring this connection or you ignoring figuring out how this connection is? It's like it's like you're wanting it to. It's like one side wants the other to. Aries, it kind of feels like you're. I'm trying to get my words together. Aries. Feels like you want Sagittarius to come back in. Like maybe Sagittarius broke it off, maybe you're just mad at Sagittarius. Um, but you can't figure out how you feel because you're trying to figure out how they feel. And with Sagittarius, it's like you're distracting yourself so much. Like how would you even know how you felt, how they felt? Like you're just kind of like, I don't even want to look at the situation because that was painful and I don't like pain, so we're going to have a good time. Um, like what are either one of you doing? Do either one of you want to be here? Like, or do you both want to move on? Where are you putting your energy? Figure that out. That's where this is going. And I, I hate doing a, um, a ending kind of like this with an outcome, but it, it is. That's what I'm hearing. You're getting what you're, you're putting in, and then you're getting that in exchange, right? So if you're focusing on yourself, okay. Then you focused on yourself. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this resonates. Hopefully it helps. And have a great night.